This would be uh, lot 20, 35-7, crossbred barrow. He's a shame on me, tell all. He does have a little slight head bobble. Um, if that if that bothers you, I'd stay away here. But, uh, you know, one that I think when you get on the stick and you get trained isn't going to be an issue. Uh, obviously no issue in, in terms of growth and performance here. I think one that's the, the right length of side and the right kind of build to be a good show barrow. Well, I wouldn't be scared of this head bobble. If you're scared of that, you're missing the boat here. Uh, once in a while he does it, but they, they grow through that. And, and you talk about a pig that uh, brings a lot to the table in my in my book. And you talk about one that from the front third, it's got a good neck, jawline, uh, skull is really neat in this hog. Uh, one that's massive in terms of his shape atop today. You get behind him, he, he's he got the shape, and then and he's got the stoutness of rear leg and still comfortable out of that rear leg. Really combines uh, the shame on me line with the tell-all. The tell-all bore, of course, was the best-kept secret, the son that did so well in Siren Barras. And, and sure enough, it's one of them that we thought was only a barra maker. And then he makes sows, the tell-all sows. And uh, this one's extremely good. If you're looking for a uh, fall pig here, I think, you know, come October, come November, this one should be on your short list today. Uh, very neat pig, super square, super stout. Again, that would be lot 20, 35-7, crossbred barrel.